Hi there, this is Sabre Crypto. Okay, so I just want to report on how things are going with the copy trading. Now, if you've been following what I've been doing, I'm basically using Bybit's new copy trading feature. Um, and you can get there by going to Bybit. And the best way to do that is to use my affiliate link because that can get you up to $4,000 bonus, uh, which is cool. Um, and then what you need to do then is go to derivatives, then copy trading and apply for doing copy trading. Now, so far, it seems to have taken like about two or three days to get approved. Basically, what happens, your what they call UID, which is this number here, uh, that UID gets whitelisted and then you're allowed to copy trade. Uh, so what I did, I started using this guy, Lasong, and I did, I think, three trades with him. Uh, which were all okay. That was using a small amount of money, just about $50, I think. And then I moved over to this Positive Lee guy, um, did a few trades with him, and then increased the amount of money. Uh, and if we look at how it's going today, if we look at my copy trades, um, it does look like he's having a bit of a bad time, actually. It seems to have two trades open, both shorts, um, and this one is 16% down, this one is... 15% uh, down which is not so good however um, looking at the way he's done stuff before what he seems to do is to kind of ladder into positions with not the whole balance so um, so I guess what he's trying to do is trying to get his entry higher then hopefully the price of Bitcoin will fall uh, sometime today and uh, he'll be able to get out of his trade with a profit that's what I'm hoping anyway but uh, you know, this is the whole point is, I mean, you know, these are just human people. They, you know, they, you can't guarantee what, uh, what results they're going to get at all. And, uh, but you know, this guy does have a pretty good record. He did screw up a little bit on May the 11th when, uh, the, uh, lunar fiasco happened and UST and all that crap. And that brought the whole market down, uh, quite badly. And he did, uh, screw up a little bit there. And, and it seems like he, he lost a few trades then. Uh, I wasn't involved in it then, so that's cool. Anyway, I'm going to leave these trades open. I mean, if, if I wanted to sort of panic, I could just go over here and close the trade. But I'd rather just leave them open and see what he does. So at the moment in this account, this one started off with $870. Uh, and now there's 902 there. So I'm still in profit, which is okay. Um, now what I did, if you saw my video from, I think it was Saturday is um, I applied for copy trading in three other Bybit accounts. Now, these are old Bybit accounts that I've had lying around, um, not doing much. Um, so I want to use those so I can use multiple traders so I can compare four traders, um, find the best ones, and then obviously put more money into those ones. Now, the, the reason for this is is it doesn't matter how much you have in your copy trading account. Um, when a trade opens, it will only use a maximum of $1,000. So what I'm thinking is there won't be a way to kind of compound the gains uh, beyond $1,000. So um, I'm thinking of doing this either with multiple Bybit accounts, which might be slightly against their terms and conditions. I'm not entirely sure, actually, because each account is supposed to belong to an individual over the age of 18 but in theory that could be your know, wife your mum your dad your granddad whoever you know as long as you've got access to that email address um, then that's okay and i've only got kyc know your customer on my main account which is this one here um, the other ones don't have kyc and i was worried at first that um, you might need kyc to get approved for copy trading but in fact, that's not the case. And all three of my other accounts got approved yesterday. Oh, and by the way, I'm sorry I didn't make a video yesterday. I did actually make one and then I listened to it and I just sounded like really tired and miserable. So I thought nobody needs to hear that. So I thought I'd do a new fresh one today. Um, so here we go. So what I need to do is to fund those other accounts. Now, I've been looking at ways to move crypto around cheaply. And um, the, the one I came up with is like a lot of people were talking about using Tron. Um, and you can actually, from Bybit, you can send, let me just show you. So if I go to the spot account, you can send USDT using the Tron network. 
which is cheaper than using the ERC20 network. Now ERC20 is the Ethereum network which is notoriously expensive and uh, the Tron network is cheaper. Um, then I looked into how much cheaper and you're talking about a dollar rather than uh, you know five dollars or something like that you know it's 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 a lot cheaper but then I started to think well you know I'm so into like Elrond and eGold um, maybe that's a cheaper way to move money around and I really think it is but anyway I'll just show you so say I was to withdraw USDT I mean I've only got five dollars sixty six there but say I was to withdraw that you can use the ERC20 blockchain or you can use TRC20 and as I'm sending between Bybit accounts you can actually receive ERC20, TRC20 and I think Binance Smart Chain and Solana as well um, I think you can receive all those um, but I'm not going to do that because what I did is over in um, crypto.com in the exchange um, I had some CRO in the exchange and um, I just did a little trade this morning just going from CRO to eGold so I've actually now got 277 bucks worth of uh, eGold in here and luckily I've actually got the MyR app um, whitelisted here so I'm just going to go withdraw external wallet address MyR app eGold and withdraw all that okay so the transaction fee 0 0.01 eGold so at the moment that would be about what would that be that would be 0 0.01 10 yeah about about a dollar that is so it's not too bad so i'm just gonna withdraw that now i think what you'll find is the actual fees for moving this around from the myo app are even cheaper so this is the expensive part but let's do this anyway so i'm going to withdraw all that to the myo app google authenticator which is um, so that should go to the MyR app now. So it's 9:44 now. And let's see how quickly that does that as well. Okay, that took about a minute to get to the MyR app, so that's cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a third of that to each of the accounts that I've got. Now, just in case you're wondering, the way I'm doing this is I've got the main account on Chrome on my MacBook Air, and then on Safari on the MacBook Air. I've got um, the second account and then the third one is going to be on my MacBook Pro on Chrome and then the fourth one will be on the MacBook Pro on Safari okay so that way I can be logged into all four accounts at the same time if I need to be so here I'm just going to go to assets and spot and I'm going to search for eGold there you go deposit so I should be able to do this straight from the MyR app. Now it's going to be interesting to see how much uh, this costs. Yeah, so I'm going to send about 0.95 eGold to each account. Okay, so here I am in the MyR app. And I'm just going to go send. And I'm going to go 0.95. Uh, continue. And then click that thing there for the address and you can see here the fee is 0 0.005 so that's half a cent to send it there okay so I'm going to send that okay that's on its way then I'm going to repeat that for the other two accounts on the MacBook Pro okay so that deposited in there super quick I absolutely love the Elrond blockchain because that was you know cost half a cent and there it is and it happened in less than a minute so that's superb now obviously what I want to do now I want to turn that into USDT which kind of breaks my heart slightly because I hate the idea of selling eGold uh, but I'm going to have to do it to do the uh, the copy trading so to do that you can just search up here put EGLD and see what your options are so I've got EGLD USDT perpetual or EGLD USDT spot or well, because I actually want to sell it and not just trade it I actually want to um, do the spot so I'll just go into there uh, and that's quite good the price is uh, going up slightly okay so I could either do a market sell and just sell it at the current price but you can get it slightly cheaper by doing a limit 
sell. Well, the price is like 99.93. Uh, let's have a look. 99. Oh, I might just sell it at the current price. So let's go quantity or sell, sell e gold. There you go. And that'll probably fill straight away or very shortly. I might just pause the video while it's happening. But you can see the order down here. So I'll just wait for that to fill. It's 10.46 right now. And the fact that did fill straight away. Okay, so if I go back to my spot account, I should have USDT in there. And there it is. Okay. Now, to use the copy trading feature, you need to have um, money actually in the copy trading account. And the only place you can take it from to put it in there is the derivatives account. So what I need to do now is to transfer this, this from the spot wallet to the derivatives account. So I'm just going to do that, USDT, all, and confirm. Okay, so that's done. So now I can do the copy trading. So I can go to derivatives, copy trading. Okay, and then I'm going to pick somebody to copy. I don't like him because he's only done five trades, m and &M. M M, he's only done three trades. I want, I want one that's got a reasonable amount of trades under their belt. Um, so that we can get a good idea of you know how well they're doing the super lucky looks interesting let's have a look at him okay so he's done a few shorts a few longs mostly doing btc usdt he's done a bit of sand as well okay and his current trade he's got going is a short on btc and he's nine percent down a good thing to look at as well is the fact that uh, each principal trader has allowed 250 followers and if he's got like you know one follower he's probably not very good or he's very new now this guy's been around 12 days and he's got 178 followers um so to me i don't know i think it might be worth a punt really so i'm going to copy him okay there's some terms and conditions here that i suggest you do read because you know you don't want to be blaming anybody if the money you put in goes down because it could do but uh, anyway i've read all that sort of and uh, i'm going to click confirm there okay so here you can exclude certain ones that you don't want him to trade and uh, i'm just going to trust him here is where you can set your leverage now the principal trader can trade on any leverage i believe so if he's trading with like 50x leverage and the trade goes 2% the wrong way, it's going to get liquidated. Um, however, you don't want that to happen to you, so you're going to be using less leverage. Um, so if you were using, say, 1x leverage and the trade went 2% against you, you would be down 2%. Um, you get the idea. And on 5x leverage, if it went 2% the wrong way, you'd be down 10%. And obviously... It's a trade-off between the gains you're going to get versus the losses you might get. Normally, when I'm trading myself, I trade somewhere between like 3 and 10x leverage. If this guy knows what he's doing, I'm going to trust him with 5, so I'm going to put 5x leverage in there. And the order cost, okay, so here I haven't got any money in the account, so I'm going to go transfer. Now you see here I've got that 94.83 bucks in the derivatives account, and I'm going to move that to the copy trading account. So I'm just going to go all and confirm. Okay, so that amount is in there. So I'm going to trade with all that amount. Uh, if you don't want to use the entire amount you've put in, in there, you don't have to. You can put in what you like there. But that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that's it now. So what you'll probably see is nothing for a while because he's got a trade open already. You will be in the next trade um, that, that he opens. So for the moment, I'm just going to keep an eye on that. Um, so that's the end of the video. Uh, I'm going to set up a similar thing on the other two accounts and then I'm going to put the details in the spreadsheet so that we can keep uh, keep an eye on who's doing well, who's do who's not doing well. And then the idea is to probably move the money around between the four accounts and uh, you know find the best trader possible and uh, take it from there really. So yeah, so at the moment I'm using Positive Lee and Super Lucky they are my principal traders okay so if you've enjoyed the video give it a like uh, leave a nice comment make sure you subscribe make sure you've got the notifications set on all and above all tell your friends